Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming. This is uh, this is a, a big day. It's a big day in the city of Athens. It's a big day for the city government. It's a big day for the city building. Um, what you know, to some of us, to include myself, is you know it seems small with having the construction of uh, this lift, but it's huge for someone like my friend Noah or Serena to where, and anyone else really, who might need some assistance with being able to, to climb what is otherwise Herculean, you know, these five steps become a major barrier. And it's something that I uh, has, have strove for for you know, my entire time in city government, and I know my colleagues have as well, um, to overcome barriers, to help everybody overcome barriers. You know, we are an inclusive city. Uh, we are an accessible city. We have a long way to go, believe me, I know that. Um, for a city that's over 200 years old, we've got some 200-year-old infrastructure that kind of makes some interesting barriers and, and challenges, but it's something that uh, is, is, you know, tends to be a slow road, but well, trust me, it's a road that uh, I have taken on and I know that City Council has taken on. I know our former, our past administration has taken on. I want to give a special thank you to Mayor Paul Weil, former Mayor Paul Weil, uh, because he, he really kind of got this going. Uh, and he got a lot of other things. I also want to thank City Council, because um, without City Council, you know, who holds the purse strings, again, this would not have happened in a lot of other things. So I want to thank uh, President of City Council, Chris Nicely. I also want to uh, thank uh, Council Member Jeff Reisner, but all of City Council, because again, without approval for for features like this in the city building, um, that wouldn't have happened. Sure. When the fair? When's the fair? Yeah, it's in August. Soon, soon. And hopefully that's accessible too. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the other thing that I want to thank is I want to reach out to, you know, those of you who are here that serve on Athens City Commission on Disabilities, um, because the Commission on Disabilities has played a large role in, if nothing else, opening up the eyes of uh, those of us who are, um, you know, take tabs, you know, that's a term that I learned from the Commission on Disability, temporarily able-bodied, and being able to, to look at things differently through a different lens, uh, but the Commission on Disability is a huge thank you. Um, again, I know Noah serves on that. Anybody else in here who serves on the Commission? Uh, Laura's here. Um, but there's, a, there's nine other members that serve on the Commission who's working really hard to advocate for people to, to lend a voice to those of you um, where that may not be as easy as it is for others. Um, so that all said, um, I want to go ahead and have everyone down here who has sharp implements in front of them uh, to go with the ribbon cutting ceremony. And then uh, I think Passionworks, um, they have a presentation right now uh, that they want to uh, present as well. Uh, I, want to, I want to thank Marty Gruiser too. Um, they're the ones who made this all happen along with uh, with Bill Moran. Um, that uh, it was great. So. Hard work, I know. <laughs> Retrofit. All right. Ready? Ready? Count.
official flower of the city of Athens, presented to Steve Patterson, mayor of Athens, which I in turn, it is now a permanent fixture, well, as permanent as permanent can be, in the city of Athens, uh, here in the city building, with sincere appreciation for his support of collaborations between the city of Athens and PassionWorks Studio. Yay. Thank you. 